As we gather to Sunday in the table of the Lord, we start a new season, the season of Advent. And like we do every year, we're going to bless the Advent wreath that represents our walk in the preparation of the celebration of the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ, who will walk for four days, for four weeks, into this big celebration of the birth. And we start in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Lord our God, we praise you for your Son, Jesus Christ. He is Emmanuel, the hope of the people. He is the wisdom that teaches and guides us. He is the Savior of our nation. Lord God, let your blessing come upon us. As we light the candle of this wreath, may the wreath and its light be a sign of Christ's promise to bring us salvation. May he come quickly and not delay. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who live and reign with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. We continue our Mass doing our penance, and we all together say, I confess, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, what I failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, to most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary and Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant your faithful, we pray, Almighty God, to resolve to run forth to meet your Christ with righteous feet at his coming, so that gather at his right hand they may be worthy to possess the heavenly kingdom. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who live and win with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. You, Lord, are our Father. Our Redeemer, you are named forever. Why do you let us wander, O Lord, from your ways, and harden our hearts so that we fear you not? Return for the sake of your servants, the tribes of your heritage. Oh, that you would rend the heavens and come down, with the mountains quaking before you, while you wrought awesome deeds we could not hope for, such as they had not heard of from of old. No ear has ever heard, no eye ever seen, any God but you doing such deeds. For those who wait for him, would that you might meet us doing right, that we are mindful of you in our ways. Behold, you are angry and we are sinful. All of us have become like unclean people. All our good deeds are like polluted rags. We have all withered like leaves, and our guilt carries us away like the wind. There is none who calls upon your name, who rouses himself to cling to you. For you have hidden your face from us and have delivered us up to our guilt. Yet, O Lord, you are our Father. We are the clay and you the potter. We are all the work of your hands. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I give thanks to my God always on your account for the grace of God bestowed on you in Christ Jesus. 
that in him you were enriched in every way, with all discourse and all knowledge, as the testimony to Christ was confirmed among you, so that you are not lacking in any spiritual gift, as you wait for the revelation of our Lord Jesus Christ. He will keep you firm to the end, irreproachable on the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is faithful, and by him you were called to fellowship with his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Be watchful, be alert. You do not know when the time will come. It is like a man traveling aboard. He leaves home and places his servant in charge, each with his own work, and orders to keep her to be on the watch. Watch therefore, you do not know when the Lord of the house is coming, whether in the evening or the midnight, or the cock crow, or in the morning. May he not come suddenly and find you asleep. What I say to you, I say to all, watch. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Like I mentioned at the beginning of the Mass, we start today with this season of Advent. A time on reflection, a time to see what is the meaning of Jesus coming to our life. And the Gospel today mentioned that we need to be alert and to watch for the coming of the Lord. If you listen to the reading, you feel that is a reading that is about maybe death or something that relate to a moment like that. But this season is a time to be on watch on how little by little is the coming of the Lord into our life. What impact He's going to make on us? What place we're going to place Him this year? I always use this year of this season as a moment to reflect on my old relationship with the Lord. Like every year on Christmas Day is a new commitment to adore and to walk with Jesus our Lord and Savior. So the time of Advent help us to see if we have fulfilled that mission correctly. If we really, really got close to Jesus this past year, if we really, really want to rejoice in Him to be born again in our life. So that's the reason that period is kind of dry, 
in the decoration, as you can see. But later on, as he is born, we see light and the shining, shining nativities that will bring us back to that first, first moment that salvation come to the world. With the birth of Jesus, everything starts and open the doors for many to be saved in his name. That's the reason that I invite all of you to take seriously this period, this season of Advent. Well, we'll help each one of you to organize a little more and more your relationship with God and how you are going to start rejoicing and showing God's presence in the future. This coming year, that He be the one who rule your life. The Gospel really mentioned about to be on the watch because we don't know the time of the day the Lord will come. And it's true, we should live our life day by day, ready to meet the Lord because we don't know the time of the day the Lord will call us to Him. That's the reason this season of Advent will help us to think well in our relationship with the Lord. May this season be a wonderful, wonderful time to commit with the Lord to be a great servant He wants you to be. That this walk with the Lord is Sunday through, that each Sunday we light a candle, we look forward to celebrate for the coming of the Lord, that He will shine forever in the world and in our life. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Now we do our profession of faith. I believe in one God, the Father of visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages. God, God from God, God light, light from light, light true God, God from true God, God, God begotten and not made, made consubstantial with, with the Father. Through him all things were made. made. For us men and for our salvation, salvation he came down from heaven. And by the power of the Holy Spirit, he was born of the Virgin Mary, Mary and became man. For our, our sake, sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With who the with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic Church. Church. I, I confess Church. one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Amen. As we begin this holy season of Advent, let us ask the Lord Jesus to come again to our world bringing salvation to all who stand in need. Our response will be, Come, Lord Jesus, that we may be living witnesses of your light in the world, always aware of the signs of the times and willing to speak God's news in new ways to the people of our time, we pray to the Lord. Come, Come Lord Jesus. Jesus. For rulers of all nations, that they may follow the example of Jesus, who made himself the servant of all, we pray to the Lord. Come, Come Lord Jesus. Jesus. For families affected by addictions, and for those whose relationships have broken down, that healing may bring light where, the, where there is darkness of heart and mind, we pray to the Lord. Come, Come Lord, Lord Jesus. Jesus. For those who are discerning how to serve the Lord, for those who are pursuing a religious vocation, especially Michael Martinez, Apostolates and novices of the servants of the pierced hearts of Jesus and Mary and Inigo Isla, we pray to the Lord. Lord. Come, Lord Jesus. 
for this parish community at the beginning of the new liturgical year, that the coming months may be a time of grace for each of us and for all whose lives touch ours. We pray to the Lord. Come, Lord Jesus. Almighty God, strengthen the resolve of your faithful people to prepare for the coming of your Christ by word and justice and mercy, so that when we go forward to meet him, he may call us to sit at his right hand and possess the kingdom of heaven. We ask this for Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who live and reign with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. and sister that my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord, Lord accept this sacrifice of your hands for the, for the praise and glory of his name for our good and, and our church. church. Accept we pray, O Lord, this offering we make gathered from among your gift to us and may what you grant us to celebrate devoutly here below Gain for us the prize of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with you, with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for he has soon at his first coming, the loneliness of human flesh, and so fulfill the design you formed long ago, and open for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all his last made manifest, we who are watched for the day may inherit the great promises in which now we dare to hope. And so with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts of power of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, have without end we acclaim. Your glory, O 
Holy o Lord, the fount of all holiness, may holy therefore this day we pray by sending down your spirit upon the land of the so they may become for us body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, we took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, gave it to a disciple, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood. Lord of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sin, to this in memory of me. A mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be your present minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ will be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world. Bring help the fullness of charity together with Pope Francis and Thomas our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostle and all the saints who have pleased you through all the ages, we merit we go here to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him and in him, God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Now, my brothers and sisters of the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom comes, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forget of our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil and gracefully grant peace to our day, that by the help of your mercy, we'll be always free from sin and safe from distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory of yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostle, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sin in the faith of the Church, and gracefully grant peace and unity according to your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. 
that will give one another a sign of Christ's peace. takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you end into my room, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Body and blood of Christ, we know to our lasting life. Let us pray. May these mysteries, O Lord, in which we have participated, profit us, we pray. For even now, as we walk and make passing things, you teach us by them to love the things of heaven 
and hold fast to what endures through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. This Mass is then the little go in the peace of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Have a blessed week and a good Advent season. Silence away.